Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another Thursday Real Life Stock Review with Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys have had an amazing week. SPY still crushing higher. Absolutely insane. We did look like we were going to gap down um, back on Tuesday and realistically we just fade. If you take a look at the E-minis, I'll just take a quick look here on the hourly chart. Here was the ultimate sell-off. Everyone was like super bearish on the market and then as you can see, everyone was just buying the dip. Why would they be doing that? Take a look at the four hourly chart, long term moving averages. We almost came back down to the 200 on the four hourly chart, which as you can see back here at the start of December was a very decent buying location. So a lot of people staying bullish on the markets here guys, just keep buying them dips. Uh, SPY was a retest gap yesterday as you can see on the five minute we did retest a little bit we kind of came down came up a little bit came back down and then slowly uh, grinding high here's your nice little retest right there and we seem to be going higher nothing is stopping the market guys stay bullish on the markets the e minis on the daily chart Still looking bullish, still looking really, really green. I know we are getting very extended. I, I can accept that. Um, me personally, I am waiting for a particular pullback. However, when I am looking to, I am just following the trend. When I am looking to trade, I am just following the particular trend. Uh, the other day on Tuesday, I mentioned Beyond Meat after this massive bullish candle. I said, keep an eye on it. We may start to run. Uh, we had a short little pullback here, um, and then we just started running bullish again. Up another 10% on the day uh, was a very nice opportunity to go long. If you can take a look, I'll just go back to the three minute, actually. Three minute chart right here. You, you can see here, we really just came back down to this support level from the previous low of the day, and we still had massive volume coming in right here after these two bullish candles so right here was your chance we knew this was going to go higher i actually did take this particular trade got out a little bit early got out up here um however was a very nice trade on beyond meat and still got to collect one r on that one here's tesla and tesla just finally having a pullback a small pullback fading after a nice little retest gap makes a whole lot of sense look at the short two moving averages yeah, we are still in a very bullish trend. A nice little dip back down into the 10 would be amazing. Although, if we could come a little bit lower, just keep bullish on Tesla, guys. We will definitely hit 500. I know Jeremy was saying we'll probably hit 500 this year, but I think we'll probably actually hit 600. Eventually, uh, they're doing absolutely amazing things. Their profits are going to start to skyrocket. So keep your eyes peeled on Tesla for a dip buying opportunity if we do get a nice little uh, consolidation here. It would be very nice to get something like that. Uh, but yeah, Tesla still looking bullish, nice little fadeable gap. And as you can see on the five minute, we did get a very nice setup on this one. We had the breakdown. So we had this nice little dip, right? We had the breakdown back into the VWAP and then we had just a nice little crush lower and then yeah was a very nice trade. I did also take a small short on Tesla right here as well, collecting only 0.5R on that one, but still, all in all, still in the green on the day. BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond. This was a very nice gap. We did have a nice retest gap today, uh, red candle gapping down. And we gap down below the 50, super bearish at that particular point. But if you take a look at the one minute chart, there was, you really had to be quite quick on this one. Almost bearish straight at the gate. We had a whole bunch of buying, all the, all the shorts closing out their positions at the start of the day with a nice little healthy gain. As you can see, here's your pre-market support level as soon as that broke, which was actually also the low of this bullish candle. As soon as that broke, uh, we kind of just broke down, retested, and then just continued lower. So if you did get to take BBY, I did. It was a very nice gap to uh, very nice gap to trade in the day trading floor. Here's KSS uh, Coles Corporation, another nice little gap down. 
just basically just trading back down to the pre-market support and then bouncing and then just trading completely sideways. Not a whole lot really happening there. It was a very nice day trade. A lot of people getting in on that one. But right now, as you can see, it makes sense that we are bouncing off this level because as you can see, it was a retest gap, red candle gapping down. And it's amazing we are actually bouncing off this particular support level. Beautiful volume and beautiful hammer candle. We Last time we got a nice little hammer candle was here and here and here. And interesting enough, we have another one here all at the same price. So what do you think could potentially happen? Well, obviously, my thoughts are be bullish. If you are looking to trade KSS for a short-term trade, just look to, bu look to buy the dip, guys. This is a very nice buying location. Let's take a look at AMD. Now, AMD finally creating some new all-time highs uh, this week. It has been quite sensational getting pennies away from the $50 level, uh, hitting a high of $49.96. And as you can see, we are getting a nice little up, long upper, upper shadow. Makes a lot of sense that people are selling up here. A lot of people would have had their sell orders at around $50. And as you can see, on a monthly chart, we are up there. I mean, they are screaming bullish. Last, the very nice dip buying opportunity was back here. And... That was off the long-term moving averages, as you can see here, straight off the 200. And last time that happened was pretty much back here. So th this was a very nice dip buying, uh, dip buying location for a lot of people who love AMD and trade them a lot. AMD, this was a very, very good winner. This is a very nice time to start locking in your profits. If you do have AMD shares, this is a very nice time to start locking in them gains. MU, another semiconductor, coming up to another high back at 57.31. Another one, if you are in shares, it would be good to, you know, either, if you're in long-term position, you could probably look to sell a cover call up at, up at $60 if you love the company and want to continue holding their shares. Uh, or also, you could just potentially take your profits as since the start of December, we are up 31%. Uh, so keep that in mind guys. This is a selling location. I do expect there to be start start to be some small pullbacks in the market as we have had a very nice bullish run over the Christmas break. Let's take a look at the all odds and I did mention that we were going to break above 7,000 and we are up there. We are now at 7,044 and we are now cruising on higher. So not a lot stopping here, guys. It's all just blue sky up ahead. You can see on the weekly chart and the monthly chart, this is the highest we have ever been in history on the All Lords. So making history again today, guys, which is super amazing. And yeah, markets are still bullish, guys. Stay long. Let's take a look at Rio. I did um, speak to a trader not so long ago. Uh, just more so in particular about their Rio Tinto shares long term. And if you are in Rio, just know that we are probably going to dis uh, distribute at this particular level, probably something like this juncture right here. I do expect something like that to happen. Um, I'll just copy and paste this right here. Just because, uh, just because we are at a nice little selling location we do have earnings coming up if you are looking to sell some premium on your shares probably look to sell above 104 105 um, as these are a very nice level that we have sold off before and it would be a very nice time to take your profits at that particular level as well so keep that in mind rio tinto most likely will trade sideways here's anz now this is something you really want to keep your eyes on guys just take a look at the weekly chart so the weekly chart we are at a i have mentioned this before we are at a buy low sell high location here's the low um back of back since 2016 and 2019 as well now if you take a look at the daily chart interestingly enough we are creating uh what is called a double bottom uh, beautiful pattern. We haven't broken out above the neckline to go higher, but if you are looking at buying low or at least accumulating some long-term positions on ANZ, this is a very nice time to buy. 
and we could very well potentially go back up to these moving averages and then you know trade sideways for a little bit longer but ANZ very nice buying location if you wanted to pick up a share or 10 Here's 5G and the 5G Networks Limited. Now, I, last time I mentioned this was a while ago. I actually mentioned back here, this is a time you want to be selling and this is a time that you want to be, um, it's not a time to be getting in. I also mentioned a while ago back here in July um, that this would be a, that, that if we didn't bounce off the 100 simple moving average, we would most likely come back down to this level here at around 85 cents we did go a little bit lower and we did close below the 200 and right now we are just consolidating we are consolidating we're accumulating here very very nice accumulation phase but as you can see here we we are getting some really nice volume coming in here if you take a look at the weekly chart we are also bouncing off the 100 on the weekly chart so if you are a fan of buying low and selling high, this is a good one. Also, I want to mention that we have had a very decent pullback here. As you can see, we did have a 50% retracement on this particular move. Makes a lot of sense to start bouncing off this particular level. On the weekly chart, guys, look at the volume coming in here. We are really starting to spike. A lot of a lot of moves starting to happen. So 82 cents, very good level to start. Um, thinking about owning a position on 5G networks. And last stock I'm going to look at is Wow Woolworths. And I did mention we were going to consolidate here for a while, guys. On the daily chart, we are just chopping around. We are also at the 100. Still kind of just pausing. We do have increasing volume though, which is quite interesting. We could probably come back up to the 38.92 level around here and most likely come back, trade back down to the 100. Makes a lot of sense. If you are looking for a short-term trade, you could if uh, you could potentially um, either sell some options, sell some put options down here at 36 just to get in, or you could look to you know sell a spread up above 39. Uh, yeah, up above 39. So keep your eyes peeled on Woolworths, guys. We are most likely just going to uh, consolidate and distribute up here. And that's all for the stocks. Let's take a look at some commodities. So here's gold. I did mention we are going to stay bullish on gold. I mentioned that because we did break above this particular high. Right now, it also does make a lot of sense that we are... Oops. So it does make a lot of sense that we are currently retesting we got the breakout here is the retest and as you can see here we did get a nice long lower shadow at this particular level right here just yesterday so if we do particularly bounce off this level it would be a chance to go long um, but for the most part guys i am just looking to buy as low as i can we did already have a very very nice bullish run on gold over the christmas break a lot of a lot of people, a lot of real life traders, getting to trade that on the futures market, and um, making some gainage on that one. Let's take a look at crude oil now. Crude oil having that dip that I was talking about. So this this particular dip was after the missile. So we had a massive skyrocket uh, on Tuesday after the missile attack in Iran. Sorry, in Iraq. And I did mention that last time this happened, we just kind of faded straight away, which is exactly what's happening again, guys. If you are looking to buy, obviously look to buy as low as, as, low as you can. 58.59 around this particular level here. If this level holds up, I will be looking to do a swing trade, um, either with futures or CFDs. Um, but crude oil, definitely having a nice pullback. We have pulled back from the highs, you know, around 8%. So, you know, look to buy the dip on this one, guys. And last but not least, want to take a look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. I mentioned this is a buying location and look what is happening, guys. We are getting some nice little consolidation uh, right now. Nice little bullish candle here. Is this the time that we start going higher or is this just going to be the right shoulder to go lower? Who knows? Trade your plan, plan your trade and just 
look to stay along on the Aussie dollar. We are getting some very nice uh, cons- nice high lows, which I've mentioned in the past before, and just makes a lot of sense that this is a value area, especially on the monthly chart. The monthly chart, we are back down here, right here at this particular value area. So this is not a time to be selling. It's definitely a time to be buying the Aussie dollar. Anyway, guys, that's enough for me. I'll be back next week with another Real Life Stock Review. And if you haven't done already, make sure you sign up for the free week at Real Life Trading. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you want me to review any tickers, any stocks or Forex pairs, hit me up. You know what to do. Leave the comment section. Leave a comment in the section below. And I will be back for you guys next week. And remember, have a great weekend and love life, live life and trade it. See you all soon. Bye.